Hello again. Now, the main stories in London and police investigating the death of a 14-year-old boy in Newham are appealing for witnesses who saw a large, light-coloured 4x4 which drove off after the shooting. Corey Junior Davis was attacked in Moor Walk on Monday afternoon and died yesterday in hospital. Another 17-year-old boy who was also shot is still being treated in hospital. The Mayor of London's demanded new powers after admitting that he can't solve London's housing crisis on his own. Sadiq Khan called on ministers to give him a key role in freeing up government-owned land and for the Treasury to hand over the proceeds from property taxes like stamp duty. The Conservatives have accused him of vague idealism, but he says it'll take time to solve the capital's housing crisis. What I'm publishing today is my draft housing strategy. I'd ask your viewers to respond to that. And one of the things that we have in that is a new uh, scheme, first time ever, of a revolving £250 million worth of money, which we will use to buy land, uh, work with councils and developers and house associations to build genuinely affordable homes on that land. The money they give us will use to buy more land. And the idea is to kickstart house building in London, but make sure it's the right sorts of homes. An office development in Victoria has been named the ugliest building in the country. Nova Victoria, which cost £380 million, was described, and I quote, as a crass assault on the senses and a hideous mess by the judges of the 2017 Carbuncle Cup. Two other London buildings also made the shortlist. Circus West, the first phase of the Battersea Power Station redevelopment, and Park Plaza at Waterloo. The artists behind the Sea of Poppies at the Tower of London are launching an interactive map to locate where they have ended up. Anyone who bought a poppy is being invited to pin its location on the map and to share the story behind their purchase. More than 800,000 ceramic poppies were installed in the moat in 2014, one for every British or colonial life lost during the First World War. A bride who was told it would be impossible for her to walk down the aisle on her wedding day has defied doctors' expectations by leaving her wheelchair at the church door. Thea Downey raised £4,000 for carbon leg braces and had eight months of intensive physiotherapy to make her dream come true. The 28-year-old has Ellis Danlos syndrome, which causes her joints to dislocate easily. Now Martin's weather. Live vividly, whatever the weather. Purity's Allergy Tablets sponsor the London weekday weather. Hello again. Much brighter and fresher out there today. Uh, it's relatively breezy as well, though, and temperatures slightly cooler than yesterday. Though with more sunshine, it's not too bad a day. More of the same, really, through this evening. Then overnight, we stay relatively breezy. That should stop any mist and fog from forming. We've got a full moon tonight, and it's going to be relatively cool as well, similar to last night. And then tomorrow, much like this morning, we're off to a pretty pleasant start. So a fair bit of sunshine around as we're up and leaving the house. Into the afternoon, we will notice a little bit more clouds starting to build. One or two patchy bits of rain as well, ahead of a more unsettled night and a wetter day on Friday. Goodbye. The London Weekday Weather, sponsored by the Piri Range. And that is it from us this lunchtime, but we'll be back with the full programme at six o'clock. Until then, a very good afternoon to you. Bye-bye.